Everything has to keep going. Everything needs to keep going. If you can lean, you can clean. Kurt, come here, catfish. Let's go to the chopping block and get this stuff started. Well, give me that knife right there, so. So, while they wait to get the order done, you're cutting it up. So you have to just ride and lay with the bone. We had older guys that would work here that went on and I picked up pretty quick on it and, uh, and I taught a lot of the other guys how to do it, so. And he coming along over here beside me. He all right, but he ain't the lightning fast when I'm looking for. See, they order the cases like this mostly for restaurants. Customers keep on coming back for us. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know it's good. And the bad part about this is that I'm off work and I'm still working. <laughs> That's messed up. But I do it because Haim never did me wrong. He gave me the job when I was 16. I'm 25 now. So he's been as loyal as a father. So I have to be as loyal as a son. My father, Sheldon, they called him Shark or Slick. He was out of the place with three of his uh, poker buddies. They were, uh, you know, basically street kids from uh, the west side of the city. And I came into business in 84 after college. My father's health was uh, faltering at that time, and he needed a hand in here. And actually, the business was in my blood, and it's been a great experience. We try to keep product moving. The price is good. We're not going to make a big buy-in because the product won't last through the whole week. So quality first, price second. That's pretty much how we uh, roll with stuff. You can see the catfish, the color in the catfish. It's still like bloody. It's you know immensely fresh. That's what keeps people coming in here. When I was a show that used to come over here, I ain't like the smell of it. Now I kind of like grew into it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's pretty slick though, you know? Say if we do like 10 grand in the store, this is just an estimate. Example, 7,000 or more will be linked. And the rest will be at a cash credit. And basically, you see how the business is. You see how it's going, it's constantly on, constantly going, constantly going. I stay in South Holland, so I come way out here. Yeah. Uh, she's a good one. Right here in front of me, she's a good one. But mostly all of them, because they all got different spirits, different attitudes, and that's what keeps you going. You know? My favorite fish is a grouper. Strawberry grouper, yes. It's sweet. And it's it's when you get it, it's like it's almost red pink, but and it's when you cut it, the meat is so fine, it's so good, it's so tender. It's almost like you're eating chicken. There was a time a lot of people were giving away uh, seafood, and we didn't, I really didn't take too kindly to that. They were kind of attacking us, so we kind of attacked them back with poultry and uh, other things, so it's chicken wars. We get them to taste their own medicine, and now, you know, it's been good. You're gonna put it in your pocket right now. You put it in your pocket right now, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, too. You gonna, you gonna do it? Neil and Noah Huga. Some people call him alligator guy, whatever you all want to call him. She really can't get this anywhere else in the city. It's not a relative to the alligator. It's just a uh, huge fish that looks like an alligator. Only in the wintertime that we will have guard because it will rise up in the bottom of the river or lake, or wherever it's from. I don't know exactly where it's from, but that will be the only time we'll get guard. His teeth is like needles. I got a feeling if he'll bite you, that's it, it's over. I will try one day, but not no time soon. Because of, as, as you can see, once he gets through cutting, he's gonna cut the guts and eggs out. I guess that's a, that might be a, the, the worst tasting caviar you probably can ever taste. 
and I can't do garfish, not just yet. I'll try it probably drenched in hot sauce, but not, not just straight out. Rudy, Marjorie, make him a ticket on that, on that guy. Number 64. Be myself, I'm so glad my day is over. Nine hours 